Hello and welcome. In this video, you will learn how to generate an open API YAML file from a Spring Boot application and create client code from it. Open API is becoming the standard for describing REST APIs, making integration between different services much easier. First, we will create a REST API using Spring Boot. Then, we will generate the OpenAPI specification as YAML file. Finally, I will show you how to generate client code to consume the API using that specification. Let's create a Spring Boot project in IntelliJ. We will use Maven as the build tool and add the Spring Web Starter to set up our REST controller. Inside the project, we will define a REST controller based on a user model. So let's start by creating the model class. It will have two fields, name and age, and we will use Lumbox data annotation to generate boilerplate code. Next, we define our REST controller user controller with two endpoints, get user map it to a get request and add user map it to a post request this forms a simple functional rest api to make it easier for clients to consume this api there is a powerful library called open api it helps document the api and on top of that provides plugin to automatically generate client code all we need to do is add the Maven dependency and run the application. Open API will then automatically generate the API specification in YAML format or JSON if you prefer. So we start the Spring Boot application. This specification will be available at the following URL. So let's take a look. The file contains all the necessary information for the client to generate the client code, even manually if needed. Now using the specification YAML file, it is easy to generate the client code. Let's assume the client is a Spring Boot application. Other frameworks are also supported. But for this demo, we will focus on Spring Boot. You can either generate the code directly within the Spring Boot project or create separate jar file containing the client code. I prefer the later approach and I will demonstrate that here. Let's create another Maven project like this one. In the resources folder, we add the specification YAML file. Then in the POM XML, we define the Open API plugin. To ensure the project compiles, we will need to add the necessary dependencies. This includes the Spring Boot Web Starter, Jackson libraries, and OpenFine from Spring Cloud. I prefer using OpenFile client as it is very convenient in the microservices world, but you could also use web client or REST template. In the plugin configuration, we need to specify the path to the specification file. Like this. We also define the name of the EPA package and the output directory for the generated sources. In the configuration options, you can specify that we want to use the fine client by adding Spring Cloud. This step is crucial. All we need to do now is run Maven install. As you can see, the client code has been generated. Here is the model and the API client is using fine. Let's take a look. The interface defines the host of the remote API as variable with a default value. 
which you can modify when generating the specification on the server side. Now you just need to add the generated artifact, for example, as a Maven dependency to your project and enable scanning of the fine client interfaces. So thanks for watching and bye.